So I have a uh, program here called Copy EX, and, and this is the program I'm showing from the web browser of the robot, just the text. And so we have this simple little program with two motion instructions, uh, point two, which is a joint mo motion, and then point three, which is a linear type motion. But if you look at the actual points in the program, you see that Point two is currently undefined. So, and I'm also showing you that over here in the teach pennant. We can view that by arrowing over to the position point, select position, and it'll show us where that is. And as you can see, it's just all um, start out, which means that that point is undefined. So if I was to try to execute the program, I would get uninitialized data. So if I come over here to the touch up command I can press touch up and what it'll do is where the robot is currently at now I had jogged I had pre previously jogged my robot and so then wherever the robot is at now then that touch up then assigned the current position of the robot based on the current frames which is shown by shift cord tool frame one user frame one and so it tied those to position two. So now if we look at this, position two now has a definite location in space. That location in space is for user frame one, tool frame one. Uh, the X position is 29.3 millimeters. The Y position is 139 and so on. All right, so I've, I've defined that point. So if we come over and refresh our web browser to look at it, Point two now contains that information. Now, the only problem that I have with this is my OCD um, is getting to me and I don't have a point one. So let's say that I just wanted to redefine point two as point one. Well, I technically I could come in here at the number two and put a one in here. And that would redefine point two to be point one. However, now if we look at the position, um, you can see that I did change that and it saves that value. Okay, so if we hit previous now and reset this and I do a shift forward, okay, it then can then run through the program. So if we watch it, hit forward again, watch it. So it moves to point one, then to point three. So again, um, that point three now is bothering me. So this is point three. There's the numbers for it, and if I want to renumber it, I can renumber it as point two. Okay, and so again, those the points did not change. I was able to just force that to the number that I wanted it to be. All right, so if the number is not being used and you want to assign a predefined point to that number, you can force that value. Um, the P the point number, the point ID number to a new value.